I Became a Pirate. That's today's book. And as you see, we do have a little pirate action going on behind me. This is a book written by Melinda Long, and all the artwork, the illustrations, was by David Shannon. You may remember David Shannon. He wrote the books that said, No, David! Those were always fun books. Pirates have green teeth, and when they have any teeth at all. I know about pirates because one day, when I was at the beach building a sandcastle and minding my own business, a pirate ship sailed into view, and I knew what that meant. It, because there was a flag right on top of it, and that flag had skull and crossbones on it because I could hear the pirates singing, Hey ho, blow the men down. And they were a little off key. I tried to tell my dad, but he was busy setting up the beach umbrella. And I tried to tell my mom, but she was busy slathering, oh, this on my baby sister, sunblock. And she wasn't listening. So I went back to my sand castle, but I kept an eye on the pirates. By then, they were rowing to shore. When they landed, the head pirate climbed out of the boat and yelled, Ahoy, ye matey! Be this the Spanish main? No, I said, this is North Beach. Oh, shiver me timbers, said the pirate. We must have taken the wrong turn at Boa Boa. He walked around my sandcastle and he looked at the moat and he yelled back to his crew, He's a digger! He is! And a good one to boot! And the crew said, A good one to boot! And what be your name, matey? The head pirate asked him. Oh, Jeremy Jacob, sir, I told him. Well, Jeremy Jacob, he said, you're looking at Braidbeard and his crew, and we've been needing a digger like yourself, and we've a chest of treasure to bury. I treasure, they all shouted. And you're coming with me, Braidbeard told him. I didn't think Mom and Dad would mind, as long as I got back in time for soccer practice the next day. That's how I became a pirate. There he is on the rowboat with all the pirates. As soon as we were aboard, well, Braidbeard showed me the chest of gold and jewels. Got to find a safe place for these here treasures. It's high time we're off, he announced. We're off, yelled the others, and they set sail. There was plenty to do on board. The pirates taught me to sing sea chanties, and the louder the better and to say real pirate stuff like landlubber and scurvy dog. And by dinner time, I could speak perfect pirate. And I also learned to pirate manners. Brave Beard pounded his fist on the tables and yelled, Down the hatch, me laddies! And everybody yelled, Down the hatch! And Brave Beard gulped his food and said, Hand over the meat! The meat, they all roared. And nobody told us to finish our spinach. There wasn't any. And or to chew up our carrots. Well, the carrots weren't allowed on board. And we talked with our mouths full and nobody said please and thank you. And after dinner, I tried to teach the pirates to play soccer. Braidbeard kicked the ball and yelled, our soccer. And everybody else yelled, our soccer. And everybody dove for the ball at once and it rolled right off the deck. After it, me hearties, Braidbeard commanded. And they all whispered, after it. We fought over who would go to get the ball, but it didn't matter anyway, because a shark came along and swallowed it in one gulp. And so much for the soccer. By now it was past my bedtime, but nobody tells pirates to go to bed. No, to take a bath, nor to brush their teeth, and maybe that's why their teeth are all green. Pirates seem to sleep with one eye open, just in case, and they don't change into pajamas unless they want to, and pirates don't do anything they don't want to do, 
except for maybe swabbing the decks. I wanted to be a pirate forever. But then I found out what else they don't do. When I couldn't stay awake any longer, I asked Braidbeard to tuck me in and read me a story. Tuck you in, he bellowed. Pirates don't tuck. No tucking, said the crew. And the only thing they had to read was a map. Don't you have any books, I asked? Braidbeard looked confused. Books? I didn't even bother to ask about a goodnight kiss. And as I was laying there and the other pirates around me, the breath, the stinky socks, were right in my face. It wasn't easy to fall asleep without a story, but I was finally dozing off when a storm broke. Thunder boomed and lightning flashed. I tried to hide under the covers as out of my hammock. Oh no, the waves were slapping up against the side of the ship, but I kept falling, falling from the hammock. I couldn't find anyone in the cabin, and they were all on deck. Lower the sails, Braidbeard shouted. Back down the hatches! Everybody ran around yelling and lowering and battening, and nobody had time to sit close and tell me that it would be over soon. Nobody even noticed me. I decided I didn't want to be a pirate after all. Just then, flash, crack, crash, lightning hit the mask, and it split it right down the middle. What'll we do now? yelled the pirates. We'll have to turn back, yelled another. But the treasure, the treasure, hollered Great Beard. Where will we bury the treasure? I stepped forward. Maybe I can help, I shouted over the wind. I think I know a perfect place to dig. Follow me. And so, when the storm was over, we rowed back to shore. And we buried the treasure. We drew a map so we could find the treasure again. But I don't think we'll need it, because it's in Jeremy Jacobs' backyard. You just go by the front of the house, around past the basketball court, and over to the apple tree. That's where the dog likes to sit most of the day. And X marks the spot. After the pirates repaired the ship and got ready to set sail, before they left, Greybeard handed me a flag that you could, if you make a fine pirate, Jeremy Jacob guard that treasure well, and we'll be back to get it soon enough. And the crew yelled, soon enough! And if you ever need us, Braidbeard asked, just run the Jolly Rogers, that's what they call this flag, up yonder pole, up yonder pole, the others shouted. And maybe, well, but not today, because I've got soccer practice. I'm on the Pirates team. Did you like it? I thought it was fun, too. It's one of my favorite books when it comes to pirates. Today I wanted to introduce you to a friend that I brought along. His name is Sneed. You may have seen him on Captain Hook's movie. You must get that. That's a fun movie to watch. Sneed is a puppet, and he has a gold earring and a gold tooth and an eye patch and a scar on his nose. But what he likes to do best is sing. And so today he's going to help me sing um, a song about what do you do with a dirty pirate. And when we go way up, up, she rises, way up, up, she rises, that means that we're in a boat. And the boat is raising up out of the water. Raising up out of the water. So you can do that too. You can be setting down and you can stand up a little bit as we raise up. And he also claps his hands really well to the music to get the beat. And so you can do that. And if your hands are busy, like mine is, with Sneed, you can use your leg and clap on your leg. So this is the, the song. Now what is it called, Sneed? It's called What Do 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 With a Dirty Pirate. Oh, I think you might know about them, don't you? Yes, I do. So everybody sing along. What do you do with a dirty pirate? What do you do with a dirty pirate? What do you do with a dirty pirate? Early in the morning, give him a bath. Did you think about that? That's a wonderful.
beautiful idea. Let's give him a bath. Let's sing it again. What do you do with a dirty pirate? What do you do with a dirty pirate? What do you do with a dirty pirate? Early light in the morning. Ready? Get in a bath. Good job. Well, now where's the raise up? Up we go. Up how you go? Where where's that one? Where we can kind of raise up? Oh, that's this part. Raise up, up she rises, way up, up she rises, way up, up she rises, her light in the morning. Well, let me rock maybe in the chair, and I can make it seem like we're on a boat, and then you can sing that part. All right? Way up, up she rises, way up, up she rises, way up, up she rises, her light in the morning. What do you do with a dirty pirate? What do you do with a dirty pirate? What do you do with a dirty pirate? Her light in the morning. Get in my bath. Great job, Sneed. I'm so glad you came along because the other kids probably like singing with you, don't you think? Okay, I'm going to lay you aside because we're going to make something.